So, you want good quality audio? This video will show you how to get it. The first thing you need is a good microphone. While you can get away with using a cheaper microphone, it's probably a good idea to invest in a better microphone if you want to take recording seriously. I personally use a Samsung Media Pro as it is essentially a smaller and cheaper Blue Yeti. Just don't use something like this. For the love of God, just please don't use something like this. Next, keep your microphone somewhere where it won't move. This will reduce vibrations and help in the editing process later. I use a microphone stand I bought off eBay and I love it. While this is optional, investing in a pop filter is a good idea as it removes any popping sounds from your recordings. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. The final thing before we start recording is where you're going to position yourself from your microphone. You don't want to be too far away. And you don't want to be too close. Find a spot that works for you. Now record some audio. For this tutorial, I'll be using Audacity, which you can find a link to below. This video won't cover how to use Audacity. It'll just show you the optimal settings and effects for you to use. Set the project rate of 48,000 Hertz. Select your microphone and speakers and reduce the recording volume to 0.75. It's always better to be too quiet as you can always adjust it later. Don't see your microphone? Go to your recording devices and make sure your microphone is set to the default. Press the red button at the top to start recording, making sure you leave 5 seconds of silence at the start. This will help us remove background noise later on. Hopefully this audio should sound great once we're done with it. Press the stop button. Now select the 5 seconds of silence at the beginning of your recording. Then go to Effect, Noise Reduction and click Get Noise Profile. This will let Audacity know what to remove from your audio. Now press Ctrl A to select all your audio. Then click Effect, Noise Reduction, copy the settings here and press OK. You should notice that the 5 seconds is now silent and the whole audio clip doesn't have any other background noise. Hopefully this audio should sound great once we're done with it. While keeping all your audio selected, I would then go to Amplify and reduce the audio by 6 to 12 decibels as the next step will make the audio louder. Go to Effect, Compressor and copy my settings. Now go to Effect, Equalization and select Bass Boost for the curve. Repeat this step but choose Treble Boost. Then click Effect, Normalize and copy my settings. Then go to Effect, Limiter, and copy my settings. Now go to Effect and Normalize using the same settings as before. Now go to File, Export, and choose where you want to save your audio file. Press OK for the next screen and everything in Audacity is done. The last thing we need to do is to level our audio to keep it consistent. We do this with Levelator which can be found in the description. Just open it up, drag your audio file into it, and it will create a new version of it with a dot output after the name. That's it. Hopefully your audio sounds even better. Hopefully this audio should sound great once we're done with it. Hopefully this audio should sound great once we're done with it. If you want it to sound different, experiment with my settings until it suits your needs. If you found this tutorial useful, drop a like, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe as I'll be making similar tutorials in the future. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you later.